All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's vlogs. Now, we have two Bogue matches tonight one at 6 and one at 9 30. And I'm going to talk about both these two um, games today for today's previews. For my first preview, I'm here to talk about the Baka Raton Bowl between 12 and 1 Marshall and 11 and 2 Northern Illinois. Both these two teams are conference champions under respective conferences. Conference USA champ. Marshall against uh, MAC champion Northern Illinois. This is going to be a great battle between these two schools, two of the elite schools of the group of five schools in the FBS division. Now let's talk about Marshall first. They had a great season going 12-1. and They were close to being perfect, but closing, uh, closing out the season, they actually had a overtime thrilling loss to Western Kentucky 67-66, to ruining their perfect bid and possibly becoming at least a top 20 team in the nation and I think this is a good team overall particularly on the offensive side they actually average 45.1 points per game now for Northern Illinois they just keep the ball rolling at the quarterback position and doing a great job replacing their quarterbacks I remember remember years ago Chandler Harness was the star at quarterback and then Heisman finalist Jordan Litch took over at the helm at quarterback but now he is now gone he's no longer with the team and now they had to depend on sophomore Drew Hare, who had a solid season as his first year at starting quarterback. Now, this season, he passed for just over 2,000 yards, 17 touchdowns, and just only two interceptions. Also, he rushed for 850 yards and eight scores on the ground, second in the team in rushing. This is going to be a great game for you guys, and I think it's going to be a, 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 a battle offensively before these two teams. Now, there's a couple of players that I believe that you should watch for this matchup. Now, for Marshall, Raheem Cato, he's definitely going to be the player that you need to watch at the quarterback position. He is a senior and he broke many passing records at Marshall at quarterback. He's just under 14,000 yards in his career in passing and 128 touchdowns passing the football. He had a brilliant career breaking all these records over um, on Byron Leftwich and Chad Pennington, two great quarterbacks at the University of Marshall. Now he's also a good prospect to look at for the NFL draft. The only thing that really concerns me is his size Size, six foot, 176 pounds, very slim, very small, doesn't have the weight that you want at quarterback, but he's very accurate and he definitely spreads the, the ball out evenly and throwing the football, catching the open targets. Now for um, Northern Illinois, there's a couple of players that I do like, like Deron Brown, the senior on um, wide receiver. He just has over a thousand yards on um, receiving, but the one player that I am looking at for the Huskies is their running back in Cameron Stingley. He's actually six foot one, 230. 35 pounds, an outstanding size, and because of last season's 1,100 yard season, I thought he was going to eclipse those yards this year, but he struggled a little bit. He still lead the team in rushing in 895 yards on the ground, 5.1 yards per carry, and 13 touchdowns. This is a good running back, and who I believe he could possibly be a good third down back, short yardage back, at the next level in a National Football League. Now, this game is kind of hard for me to determine who will win this game, but I'm going to tell you a couple key points for this game. For the past two games, Northern Illinois did a great job in the turnover margin, actually commit, forcing the, the opponents 10 turnovers over the course of the, their last two games. This is going to be key for Marshall. They cannot turn the ball over. Also, for Northern Illinois, they need to run the football effectively, and that is actually how, for the past two games, the Marshall Thunder and Hurts struggled. Even in their loss to Western Kentucky, they had a hard time stopping the run. And also in the um, conference championship against um, Kenneth Dixon and Louisiana Tech. Dixon rushed for 156 yards on the ground and three big scores. But even though in that conference championship, the Marshall, um, the Thunder and Hurt actually fought back and, and scored the final 10 points of the game to pull off the 26-23 uh, victory. Now, I did mention that... Um, Marshall has a great offense. The defense for Nolan, Illinois is respectable, allowing just under 24 points a game. I think this is going to be a great showdown. But I'm going to have to go with Marshall in this one because of the offensive weapons that um, Mar um, a Marshall quarterback Raheem Cato has around him, particularly the running back behind him and junior uh, uh, De Devin Johnson. He rushed for over 1,600 yards, 16 touchdowns on the ground, and 8.6 yards per carry. He's a great, outstanding running back. I think that offense is 
is going to be too much for Northern Illinois. So I'm going to have to go with Marshall in this particular matchup. But this is going to be a great grudge match for you guys to watch at 6 o'clock. Now I have one more blog I need to talk about. And I'll catch you guys in just a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.